What is a hazardous waste determination? How do you document one? What if a waste is unknown? These are three questions we're gonna answer for you in this video today, being brought to you by the Kansas Small Business Environmental Assistance Program, paid for in part by Kansas Department of Health and Environment. Hello, my name is Nancy Larson. I'm the director with the Pollution Prevention Institute at K-State. It should be noted that failure to document your hazardous waste determination is one of the most common non-compliance violations that KDHE cites. First things first, what is a hazardous waste determination and why is it important? A hazardous waste determination is a procedure used to determine whether a waste is hazardous or not. Any business, government agency, institution, or other entity that generates a solid waste are responsible for making and documenting a hazardous waste determination. Please note that waste profiles provided by your vendor can be used to make a determination but are not a substitute for a hazardous waste determination. Determinations are important because RICRA, Resource Conservation Recovery Act, establishes different levels of generator storage requirements based on the amount of hazardous waste generated at a facility. In addition, RICRA also requires that all hazardous waste must meet certain treatment standards prior to disposal. These are documented on land disposal restrictions or LDRs. These treatment standards establish the type of mechanical process or concentration based criteria that must be met for each waste code and their associated underlying hazardous constituents before hazardous waste can be considered safe for disposal. Identifying and communicating the correct waste codes to whomever is involved in the storage, transportation, treatment, or disposal of hazardous waste helps all involved understand what must be done in order to protect public health and the environment. How should a hazardous waste determination be documented? The Bureau of Waste Management recommends a four-step method. The first step when making a waste determination is simply to list all of your waste streams generated at the facility. List which process is associated with the waste and how many pounds of each waste are generated each month. You cannot use an average. Step two requires you check to see if the waste meets the definition of a solid waste as found in the Code of Federal Regulations or the CFR, that's 40 CFR 261.2. Waste is considered a solid waste if it is a solid liquid or in some cases a gas that is discarded, abandoned, recycled, or considered inherently waste-like and is not otherwise exempt from the definition of a solid waste under the 40 CFR 261.4a. Step three, for each waste that meets the definition of solid waste, check to see if the waste meets the definition of hazardous waste as found in 40 CFR 261.3. This can be done in two ways. Use the safety data sheet or SDS and knowledge of how the waste was generated. We call this process knowledge and or have the waste analyzed at a KDHE certified laboratory. Remember, all waste should be evaluated at the point of generation. Some waste may need to be evaluating using both process knowledge and analysis, while others can be evaluated using one or the other. In some cases, such as with regulated metal contaminants, an analytical test will be required to prove the waste is not a hazardous waste. From here, hazardous waste is divided into two broad categories, 
listed waste and characteristic waste, though they are not mutually exclusive. A hazardous waste can be both listed and characteristic. In fact, some hazardous wastes are only listed because of their characteristics. For more details on listed and characteristic hazardous waste and how to determine waste codes, please refer to the technical guidance document, Characteristic and Listed Hazardous Wastes. Finally, step four involves preparing the document which clearly states whether or not the waste is hazardous. If it is hazardous, it is a good idea also to list the applicable waste codes such as D001 for ignitability, F003, U183 for example. Waste codes are explained in the technical guidance I just mentioned and can be found in the back of the generator handbook. This is a very important final step in the hazardous waste determination process. Generators can record hazardous waste determinations on the template form or in a different document or spreadsheet record. Then you must maintain the record use to make the determination in a specific hazardous waste file, either electronic or hard copy. In addition to the determination document itself, records used to make the determination must be attached or included. These records may include SDSs, process flow diagrams, certified laboratory results, and chemical reaction diagrams. So how do you make a determination on a waste that's unknown? Let's turn to our regulatory expert for guidance, Brian Burbeck of KDHE. Brian, let's say I find an unlabeled container or drum that's got waste in it. What should I do? Well, first of all, let me tell you that it is important to address these unknowns in a timely manner so that they don't get pushed to the back corner of a facility and forgotten about until the next time one of our inspectors shows up at your facility. Here are a few options to consider. First, ask around. Find out if someone working in the area knows the history of the drum and what might have been put into it. From the history, you can likely figure out how to document the determination and then prepare it for disposal. Second, Try to estimate how old the drum or container is. This may help you understand the process that generated the waste. You can also use past hazardous waste manifests and records to help determine the contents. And finally, as a last resort and sometimes costly step, have the waste tested by a KDG certified lab, trying to limit the type of tests ordered based on knowledge of the contents. One option to explore for cost savings is to request a totals analysis on the samples with a hold for further testing. This can give you an idea of what kind of T-clip analysis or toxicity characteristic leaching procedure to order instead of a full spectrum T-clip analysis. As a hazardous waste generator, you are responsible for your waste from cradle to grave. Documenting hazardous waste determinations is an important first step to ensuring you properly identify, classify, manage, and dispose of your hazardous waste. If you still have questions, feel free to contact your inspector, KDHE, or the Small Business Environmental Assistance Program.